Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. It's October 23rd, which means the Daltons are attending the annual Mole Fair, an eradication-themed celebration of the town's overpopulated inhabitants. Like the mayor says, when life gives you moles, use ethically questionable means to capitalize. He's been uncontested for many elections. Anyways, the contests at this fair will take a lot of concentration, which sounds like a great time to discuss the different ways to measure the concentration of a solution. This man concentrating hard on his delicious froze aid drink mix should remind you of concentration. Concentration is the amount of a compound called the solute that is dissolved in another substance called the solvent. For example, how much delicious artificial apple powder is dissolved in that glass of water? Now, let's hit the games to see the different calculations used to measure concentration. First, there's percent composition, represented by this game that measures your percent strength. The massive hammer signifies that percent composition is based on mass. It tells you what percentage of a solution's mass comes from the solute. So it's calculated by taking the mass of the solute over the mass of the solution and multiplying it by 100%. Pro tip, for obvious reasons, it's easiest if you measure the solution and solute before they're combined. I think it's clear that the only 100% this kid is getting is in math class. Luckily, if showing off brute strength isn't enough for the patrons at the mole fair, they can test their reflexes and disdain for moles at Smack-A-Mole. These moles above and below the table should remind you of mole fraction, represented by the capital letter X, hence this game's extreme designation. Mole fraction is the portion of total moles in a solution that is made up of a specific component. Most often, this will be the solute. You calculate the mole fraction of your component of interest, A, by taking the moles of A over the total moles of all species. That's why the mole with the A shirt is above all the other species of moles down below. And if you want to get technical with the mole analogies, since the denominator includes all moles, even moles of A, we should also include that buddy up top in our count of the moles down below. And that scoreboard with the impressive one point also lets you know that the sum of all mole fractions in a solution will add up to one. Moving on to the next game, that little mole is getting used to the feeling of singularity in there to help you recall molarity, which is the number of moles of a solute per one liter of solution, or moles over liters. Hence why you see this mole over all these liters of liquid. Lucky for this lone mole, the Daltons are famously terrible at all sports. While this mullety Dalton winds up, you might notice that the stitching on that ball looks a lot like brackets. That's because molarity is indicated using brackets around a value. The molarity of a solution can also be denoted with a capital M, which is read as molar, such as 0.1 molar moronic acid. If you look up, you can see the unsettling catchphrase for the mole fair. Mighty victory equals mole kind vanquished. Creepy, but helpful for recalling the equation for diluting a solution. The molarity of the initial solution, mi, times its volume, vi, is equal to the molarity of the final solution, mf, times its volume, vf. This equation makes it easy to determine the new molarity of a solution if you increase the solvent by a specific amount. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm very excited, and not at all nervous, to check out the snack situation at the mole fair. Moe's lollies should trigger thoughts of molality, which is like molarity's less popular measure of concentration cousin. And it looks like Moe's secret ingredient is about to take a little dip in that molten candy. Molality represents the moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. This is why we can see a mole over the kilo solver scale. 
If Kilo Solver doesn't scream kilograms of solvent enough, Mo is sporting a public service announcement apron to remind you that candy is sweet, but not the solution. Since molality is the only measure that doesn't use the whole solution in the denominator, molality only uses the mass of the solvent. Now, it's not a fair without prizes, and you can bet the swag here is... unique. The top prize, which is eerily popular amongst the teens, is the esteemed taxidermy mole. Perhaps less surprising is the fact that the mayor himself does the taxidermy. Anyhow, you can see that 500 tickets equals one mole, because an equivalent is the amount of a substance that will either react with or produce one mole of the reactive species in a chemical equation. The reactive species is basically the driving force for the specific reaction being considered. For example, the reactive species for a redox reaction would be the electrons since they are being gained and lost. In an acid-base reaction, the reactive species would be the hydrogen or hydroxide ions based on the equation. It is important to remember that one mole of a substance doesn't always create one mole of the reactive species in a chemical reaction. For example, while one mole of HCl reacts with one mole of NaOH, you would only need one half mole of H2SO4 because each molecule can give off two protons. This means that one equivalent of H2SO4 is actually one half of a mole. Now, if you were to weigh one of those equivalents, like how they weigh tickets at the prize stand, that value is creatively known as an equivalent weight or gram equivalent. Now, surely there are some other prizes. Ooh, liter bottles of the town's locally produced soda. Normal pop, which may be somewhat misleadingly named. Nonetheless, normal pop should remind you of normality, which is the number of equivalents per one liter of a solution, sort of like how this pop is 10 tickets per liter. Normality can be calculated by dividing the number of equivalents for a component by the liters of solution. That's why we see that equal sign over the liter bottles. Keep in mind that because equivalents are specific to a reaction, by default, normality is as well. Normality is an ironic note to end on here, but let's recap so I can put some distance between me and these moles. Concentration is the amount of solute dissolved in a solvent. Percent composition is the amount of mass the solute makes up in a solution, and can be calculated by dividing the mass of the solute by the mass of the solution times 100%. Mole fraction is the portion of total moles in a solution that is made of the component of interest and is found by dividing the moles of the component by the total moles of all components. Molarity represents the number of moles of a solute per liter of solution. It is represented by brackets. The dilution of a mixture can be found with the equation initial molarity times initial volume equals final molarity times final volume. Molality is equal to the moles of solute divided by the kilograms of solvent. An equivalent is the amount of a substance needed to produce one mole of a reactive species. The mass of one equivalent is known as equivalent weight or gram equivalent. Normality is equal to the number of equivalents per liter of solution. Equivalence and normality are based on specific reactions so the value is not consistent. Well, this has been... fun. I definitely won't look at moles the same ever again. Although, I did pick up one of those taxidermy moles that will probably always look at me the same. Huh. <laughs>